Greetings everyone, this is Forte Maestro, and I want to welcome you to the Lesson 4 of the Forte's Academy of Music. In this lesson, you'll be learning how to download commonly used musical plugins uh, for Lord of the Rings Online. And so two of the, uh, the most common, or a couple of the most common plugins that are used for Lord of the Rings Online, um, one of them would be EB is an updated version to Sharon, who originally created the first songbook. This one, this version is actually done by um, the Badgers, uh, who is uh, one of the um, the musical fellow or kinships on one of the other um, servers, and they created an updated version that, you know. With with the original version, you're able to, first of all, compile all of your songs into a library in which you can be able to access um, the songs in-game with a user interface. You'll see a list of your songs. You will see the different parts um, by clicks on uh, from for those particular multi-part songs. And just from the click of, you know, you click that, that particular part after you've, you know, Equip the instrument, go into music mode. Um, you can cl click a button to go into music mode. Click a button to then sync that um, that part. And then once everyone in your band has synced their part, which you see the status in the window, just like uh, normal, um, one individual can then click a button to start the band. Now, in this ver in this um, the the Badger version of the songbook, it also allows you to be able to search songs by composers, by uh, part numbers, and a number of different options, um, and it, 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 it adds a little more thrill to it. Um, you you actually had added the ability to see a timer counting down, so you know how much longer that song has left. So there's a bunch of different options into it. Another plugin is called Poetical. Poetical is is a updated version of a of lyrical, which was a program or a, a plugin originally created to allow you to create lists of basically dialogue in a user face in game for if you want to do poetry, if it's a song lyric, if you want to do general announcements, anything that you want to help on, automate your text more. Um, it, it basically you can use um, poetical for. Um, the difference between lyrical and poetical is with poetical, it also has allowed you to add tags to it, um, and it's add a couple more features to it, which which I like. Um, Band Aid is a plugin which um, it allows you to be able to. It's it's an easy way to be able to track which members have synced. Um, for which particular song, um, and so it just a little added a little extra help in there. There's also another um, another. It's not necessarily a plugin, but a program that you actually use out of the game. That's called Songbooker, which is another version, another ability to be able to compile your songs into Songbook. And we'll go into actually how how to do the compiling for Songbook um, in in lesson five we talk about how to use uh, songbook but in this lesson we're talking about how to download um, it, and this goes for any plugin download the plugin and how to get it ready for you to be able to um, load in game so the first one we're going to go ahead and go to is songbook bb and i already have it loaded up here you just click the song click it here and it's going to load the page in which it shows it right here. And they're both uh, it's hosted at um, at Lena Willows uh, .org's website. And you can actually scroll down, read the different, you know, what it's about, new stuff that's been updated to it, um, the different versions, different updates. And so what you're going to want to do, you want you you're gonna you're gonna notice that there's some patches here, and this is actually the core. So if you've never downloaded it, this right now. And again, it could change based off of when you, when you try to download. This would be the newest version at the top. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and click on it. It's going to download a zip file. 
And so when it, pull, when it pulls it up, you just open it up. And just like with any of your music, um, you're first going to want to create, a, uh, if you haven't done it so far, in your main Lord of the Rings online folder, you're going to want to create a plugins folder. Now this is a folder from your Turbine plugin data folder. That's where all the information that the Turbine uses to be able to run the, uh, the plugins in there. Plugins folder does not come with um, your basically is not defaultly created in your in your folder here. And you're going to notice in this folder there's going to be some stuff in here that I don't have because I'm actually I just I'm reinstalling um, Lord of the Rings Online from scratch, so it's still it's still at this point actually updating. Um, and so you're not going to see the um, the Turbine plugins folder in here, but you're going to want to create this plugins folder. And just like you know, like any of them. And you can actually right click, um, and it's going to give you down here, hit folder, and you're going to you're going to basically spell out the plugins with the capital. This is where you want to dump your plugins. Now you're going to see I have a couple other plug like plugins are already there. Um, with that zip, and if you don't have the file there, which as you notice here, it's going to be a folder, Chiron BB. Charon was the original creator of the songbook folder, and then BB was the updater to it. You literally just need to drag and drop it into the folder. Um, and and then you can just go and close here. And then now you can go ahead and through here, um, you, can act, you would click Poetical. It'll take you to the Poetical website, which is also hosted at the, at the Lino um, uh, website. Scroll down. You're gonna see any updates to it, any you know, any changes, and here is the current version. You would do the same thing. You would click it once. It would open up the um, the zip file. It's going to show the folder. So I'm gonna pop this up here. We're gonna wait for it to load up, <laughs> which actually load up behind, and it has the same thing, the same folder. And this one, um, the uh, poetical was actually done by Simbo. You drag and drop it into the folder here. Now, I'm, I'm not going to do it because I already have them in there, so I don't overwrite anything. But that's really, that's simple. That's as simple as you need. Um, now, another one that you're going to want to add in there, which is also on the Songbook page, is down here where it says Songbooker. Now, as you can see here, Songbooker is a new data filler which makes data file of your ABC library that plugins can use. Um, now, this is... Even though, you know, as I'm going to show you here, in your um, Charon's BB um, plugins folder, you're going to see a songbook filler. So it has its own uh, built-in um, uh, little mini program to be able to compile the songs. But you know, there, I, I, you know, for my usage and from what I, what I've used before, um, Songbooker actually is actually better. It seems to go faster. Uh, and so literally you just have to click on it. You're going to, same thing, going to open up here. Now, while it doesn't have to go in the plugins folder, I'm going to go back here to the main folder, you can um, drop the song booker into here, but or you can even drop it into your main Lord of the Rings folder, like how I have it. It really doesn't matter. If you double click it, it's going to open it up. And you see here, you scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to see Song Booker. I'm going to double click it so you can actually see it. And again, um, in lesson five, we're going to be going more into compiling and um, how to use Songbook and, and how to get your, your 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 songs compiled. And because I haven't completely finished um, installing Lord of the Rings, it's not going to show all the details that I need. But here. It will show you any of the accounts that you have that you have previously logged into with Lord of the Rings, and you click on it. Um, all this information, the the Lord of the Rings path and ABC file path, all this is going to be loaded once um, Lord of the Rings gets installed, and and then literally at that point, all you have to do is click Run, and it might take a while. It does take a while. And I'll, it won't show anything happening at all, but it is doing something. And eventually it's going to show you different things that it's compiled. It's going to start reading out different things that's added, and it's going to finally say complete. Once you've done that, um, you can then you know, you're ready in game to be able to go in, load in songbook, and be able to see your songs and be able to play your songs. But again, we're going to be going into that on lesson five. 
Um, so it looks like, you know, for the most part, you know, these are the main plugins in which, um, for music-wise, that um, in, uh, musicians usually use. Um, that Songbooker, uh, Poetical, Songbook BB, and even Band-Aid. Um, and so, while, like I said, most, uh, you know, usually... In, uh, plugins don't require anything out of game to do to them for them to become usable in game other than um, for the most part other than songbook like I said where you have to compile the songs into a library other than that um, you would be good to go to go ahead and get you know any of your plugins going on in game so um, I want to thank you all for uh, this lesson uh, lesson uh, four uh, for uh, Lord of the Rings or for um Forte's Academy of Music. Uh, next uh, lesson is going to be lesson five, showing you how to compile new songs and being able to use. And of course, don't remember to uh, don't forget to subscribe to um, to my channel on YouTube and um, follow me on Twitter at Forte underscore Maestro.